Yeah, well, thanks so much. I mean, uh, we were talking a little bit about, you know, sort of the thought process behind the title of 33.3, and it kind of, in my mind, sort of has a dual meaning there. I mean, you can think of it as the old the old vinyl format of, like, you know, a three-song EP and the 33.3 RPM, you know, the, the speed that it used to play on a turntable sort of thing. And I kind of like that idea, and maybe I'll actually uh, – after we get the digital release out next week for the EP, you know, maybe when we get to the, doing the physical packaging and stuff, maybe I'll have the uh, the option of having, you know, this album again as a vinyl product for, for limited quantities for people that are interested in that sort of thing, sort of as nostalgia, you know. And So there's that sort of element to it. And then, of course, if you think about the spiritual element of the song, like which you're going to hear in a little bit, the new single, Good Times Gone, I mean, you think of, spiritual element of 33.3 if you think of like the psalm verse in the bible 33.3 like sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise i mean you know it's all about that spiritual and music element in our lives and positive stuff you know and i think a little bit of quality of life versus the uh, quantity of life is a, is a good way to look at things and you know reflect on the better days and then and, and to awaken a new spirit inside and rebirth sort of thing is all these little things playing in the background, you know? Well, yeah, the, you know, he lives in the spiritual of this song, every culture, everywhere, you know, has all been singing together and we're singing together. We're not fighting or, uh, and it brings us cause we're talking off air and sure it's unbelievable. What's going on. We're not, you know, we're on the Humagoo right now and it's a, uh, 629, 1920, you know, June, and it's, wow, you know? (laughs) Well, music is the universal language, and we should, you know, if we can all tap into that and and be a part of that, I think, you know, it's it's a good start. And as we were talking, then then we get back to the music before, oh, we got to get on air, Corey, and then then we start talking about your tune a little more, and I says, that's exactly what my show you're doing and the only way that kind of the Lord and the spiritual, and that's what I'll say, because that seems to really be under fire nowadays. You know, a lot of people are living in the 24 seven. It's about now. And if you can't see that going on in our world, that is what it is. A lot of people are living in this times and that's the only place they care about. And uh, that's why we have so many things going on now, you know? And uh, once we need people like yourselves, maybe my show music, cause that's what I've been trying to do. I'm, I talked to a DJ in the UK the other day, um, Miles Nixon, and he's saying, and he was back on the boat off of the Israel back in the day in the 70s. Joan Baez and John Lennon were funding Peace Radio. And Miles wow. would tell me, he just, yeah, he was just on. His, I play his stuff, uh, Conjecture Junction, late at night. It's world music now that I'm able to play. But he's saying the same thing. If one person hears it and brightens their day, hey, that's what I'm trying to do. And obviously, and you are as an artist, been doing that forever. But what you know, man, you, did, really you hit the nail have. right on the head there. You have to do something that's going to resonate with people and bring out that, you know, bring out that joy in a way. Like I don't, it's it's hard to, it's hard to be negative. I find for myself, it's hard to try to be negative with music. I mean, it just doesn't work for me. I I need that release. I need that. You know, the spiritual element in there is, is a lot of emotional stuff for me too you know like it's like i said if it's resonating with people and you're you're, you're creating that positive and try to put a positive spin on things as much as you can and not drag everybody down i think you're doing well something right well that's another topic and i guess it's a sign of the times and i also say back that a lot of the music that's been happening in the last 20 30 years you want to live you'd be the bad guy and doing some negative chanting you can go ahead and you got it going you got them chanting at a young age and now they're believing it you know, that's all part of it, too. What is prayer? Prayer, in a lot of ways, is a positive chant. But if you got all that stuff going about people, they're going to believe it. So that's just a sign of the times, you know? Yeah, that's what I believe, too. And the music yeah. on my show is we're trying to do the other side of it, you know? Exactly. And that's what you're bringing to the world. Cool, brother. So, Thank you. All right. Let's do it right now. Good times gone. Mr. Corey Coons off of 33.3. Thank you. Feel the sweet breeze blow 
down the lane Wildwood flowers grow Round the bend It's the life in your days Not the length of our stay And the truth in your ways When there's nothing more to say where the good times been gone and those days of old when life was young let your spirit unfold be my heart and soul make me feel alive where the good times gone opportunity today because we were talking last week you know you're booked all the time things are happening and it so happens tonight was a night you had some time and oh today's the day so uh thank you for that opportunity to give you the big shout out oh you're so welcome thank you for having me and like i said it's been it's been such a great opportunity these last few times to uh to get to chat with you again and i uh want to thank you for all you do for all the independent artists out there as well and uh doing your thing and bringing the music to the people yeah, thank you very much. Now let's talk about your other C- CDs is rocking too that you guys have going, you know, that I played in the past. Let's kind of get back into some of that too. Long Road, uh, Dead Man's Dream. Oh, man. And Once Too Many, Once Not Enough. That stuff is just classic stuff that you have. Break the Fall, that, didn't come, that just came out not too long ago. Would you say... I got all those things lined up along with Love Will Fire the Flame. So all those things are on the docket here tonight. Awesome. Yeah, those I most yeah, all those songs I think that you mentioned are from the uh, Long Road Home album which came out in 2018. It's 
so yeah, I was really proud of that. Um, once again, Mark Muir took uh, took part in that one and uh, was recorded with Ron Nevison. He produced it and mixed it, and uh, we had a great time. It was uh, a wonderful experience doing that album. It was very sort of old school in a way as well, with you know, sort of eight school. Wait, eight songs, sorry, old school type of rock album, you know, back in the day when you think of like when the albums came out. Um, I don't know, just uh, the whole journey of that kind of encompasses itself in, in the title, you know, The Long Road Home. It's my whole sort of involvement in music since I started has been a long journey and kind of came full circle to where I'm at with my writing even now with the new the new EP coming out and everything just kind of keeps circling, you know, and uh it's great. I mean, to keep those one thing great about that. Yeah, one thing great about that one too is you, the, the cover. It's eye catching. I can see it now. The Cory Coons with the, the the golden eagle or the the banner type is uh, that was some cool artwork on that too, my friend. That's actually a white dove. That's the my white. my graphic. Yeah, my graphic. Is, you mean, you're talking the new album, the new EP. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, actually, all the stuff that you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so that's uh, I have to thank my uh, my graphic design artist uh, Patricia Patricia Waters who does the stuff for me at Asset Design, and uh, she came up with that idea of the white dove in behind, which is a very spiritual element to it, you know. And uh, and then of course the last album, The Long Road Home, with uh, you know the highway sort of thing and going into the mountains and and a very, a very rugged sort of looking road, which is, I thought was very cool too. I'm not sure where she found that picture. I don't even know where exactly that picture is, but I really always liked it. So just, yeah, those sort of things are important too. I think giving you the, the scope of everything. Well, yeah, because nowadays you still see that all the time when you see your tracks or, you know, um, being promoted, coming up on the players and, uh, you know, Roots Music Report and all that good stuff. So I like to, cause it's such a team. As I learned when I talk to the artists, you yourself and the traveling and your wife and family and, you know, everybody's else joining and helping you along in this journey. And so important today because I love talking again back to the artist today because forget about what's happening right now because, again, we're taking, you know, the music and the and the notes that the, the Lord has given us. That's how I think the spiritual part that we're finding that we really need in our world today. You know, you say that over and over again, but I think that needs to be said a little bit more. Um, and I'm sure the the flame is still rocking. Um, what else do you have kind of kicking along too after this? I imagine, hey. Eh? Well, I mean, you know, it's always uh, we're always moving forward. There's always new ideas flowing. I mean, I'm sure when we get through, just try to get through the summer now into the fall with this new uh, music coming out, and then uh, we'll look at seeing what's happened. I don't know what's happened with you know being nominated this year, like four categories for the JMAs and just like, I'm just so thrilled. Yes. And so, I mean, it's just such an amazing feeling to be, to be recognized like that. And I don't know if we're going to get the opportunity to go because I don't know if the borders are going to be even open due to everything. And uh, the way things are looking is uh, it's just, you just can't, you can't just say one way or the other what's going to happen as far as traveling goes or even out and playing live shows again or anything like that. Everything has been so um, stagnated, you know, as far as the live thing, it's just basically been killed. Yeah, the porters and all. Oh my, that is just unbelievable what's going on. But, to think about you know, that, hey. Uh, it's, but we have to look at the positives. I mean, we have to try and, uh, you know, like I said, it's such an honor to be nominated, and and that in itself is an amazing thing for me. And like you're saying, you know, having the right people in your corner all the time, and the team like Michael Stover and and all my guys, Mark and everybody who's played and. Ron Nevison and all the people in the past who've worked, I've worked with and have been producing stuff and, and uh, you know, and then of course my family at home, like with my wife and my daughter, are always a big part of everything I do now. Like they have to be included as much as I can possibly include them, you know. Like it's just my, it's my life. It's all encompassing family and music, you know. Are you a family show too? Do they play along with you? I think I have seen that. I think your well, daughter does. Does she not? In the extended if you look uh, look around, you'll find the extended version of the new song, and it's got the trailer that I put together for it. It, it plays at the end of the actual video. It's just myself and my daughter. She's playing on the little djembe drum, and I'm just playing, like, the chorus of the song at the very end of the whole video. So, I mean, she's very active. She sings. She plays some instruments. She's been learning drums in the last few months. You know, she's uh, 
She's very, very, very tough.